today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, bring you comics news, reveal the books I bought this week, and draw shirts just like this one. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching the 300th episode of the Comic Hero Show. Now kick that logo! excited about this I'm very humbled at the same time you know 300 episodes that's a lot and uh, for to to get to that for as long as I've been doing it it looks like I've been really doing a lot of things right and this is a 300 um, episode comic hero T of course there's the number 300 and then there's the, um, the CH and on each side of CH are flames and um, also have the number 300 on, on the left sleeve and on the right sleeve, I have the Comic Hero Show logo. Um, now, as I've done here on YouTube, and then also throughout the, the four um, social media sites that I'm on, which are Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, I've given y'all the opportunity to like this shirt. And um, from the number of people that liked it, uh, wow. And also, as promised, because y'all liked it, y'all are going to be entered in a drawing for a shirt just like this one at the end of the show. Um, you know, 300 episodes. I, you know, I, I just want to, I want to thank everyone for that, you know, for your, um, for your support and everyone who's watched since day one. I know there, there are quite a few people who've watched since day one, and then there's other folks that, that, you know, that came later. But, um whether you came later or you've been with me since the beginning I thank you all all right now um, I want to share something with y'all I was going to buy cake uh, when I was in Minden earlier but then while I was looking for a cake I actually found this lemon pie now um, I posted something very interesting about you know about this pie and the um, and why I bought it. You know, uh, throughout, and, and I'm trying not to be all mushy and stuff, but throughout my uh, time of doing this show, which has been over six years, you know, I, I've had a lot of peaks and valleys. I've had a lot of ups and downs. And, you know, it it, it would be so easy to, um, you would think that doing the show, you know, just, just sitting in front of a camera and then piecing it together and uploading on YouTube would, you know, the, you, you would think that there, you know, there's nothing to it, but it's not that simple. I mean, a lot of planning goes into doing every episode. I mean, and, and that's the way it's been since day one. And, um, you know what? I've had some writer's blocks. I've had, um, there are just times where, you know, even though I, I pushed through, I just wasn't feeling it. And, and then there have been other times where folks have just said that, this show is not good and it will never be good. But yet, I got past all that. And, you know, there's an old saying that goes, when life uh, gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, I can truly say that I've done more than just make lemonade. Oh, which, which is what I have right here. I've also made lemon pie, so that's why I bought this lemon pie. And, of course, it has the number 300 in it, uh, of course, uh, yeah, this is a, being astute here, but this is the 300th episode of the Comic Hero Show. But um, I just hope y'all enjoy the show. It's it's going to be another great one. Going to have a, a, another great fight uh, coming up, and and also a very uh, interesting question. And then the and then of course comics and you know comics news and all that. And then a little something extra. I'm going to draw the name of. All the people that have liked this shirt because every because I'm drawing five names and everyone who whose name I draw gets a shirt just like this one. All right. Now speaking of tees, 
It's time to give away a free t-shirt. All right, this is a note. This is not the shirt that, this is not a drawing for a shirt that looks like this one. It's a drawing for the um, Comic Hero tees that I give every week. Just throwing that out there. All right, now on last week's episode, I asked true or false, because of similarities to Deathstroke, the creators of Deadpool named him Wayne Wilson. Well, the correct answer is true. When Fabian Nia sees and Rob Liefeld created Deadpool in 1991, they noticed that the character designs that Liefeld came out with uh, with Deadpool, he looked almost similar to Deathstroke. So for laughs and giggles, because Deathstroke's real name is Slate Wilson, they gave Deadpool the real name Wade Wilson. All right, and 10 people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, the names have been entered in the drawing for a free tea, and that drawing takes place right now. So, the winner of the free tea for this week's episode of the show is... Patricia Walker from Homer, Louisiana. So congratulations, Patricia. You win yourself a free comic hero tea. All right, here's the question for next week's episode, and this is a Black Panther question. What superhero name did Marvel temporarily give Black Panther in 1972 to avoid any controversial association with the Black Panther Party? Everyone who answers correctly been in a drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. All right, now Jeremy Pardue from West Monroe, Louisiana has requested a Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown fight, and this one features one of the most powerful telepaths in the Marvel Universe going up against one of the most beloved characters in any indie publication that has ever existed. Representing Marvel, we have Professor X. And representing New England Comics, we have The Tick. These two are gonna duke it out in a segment I like to call... The, the Comic, Comic Hero, Hero Throwdown, Throwdown Showdown. Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today is Professor X versus The Tick. Professor X is one of the most powerful psychics in the Marvel Universe with incredible ESP, telepathy, and mental manipulation powers. He also possesses genius level intellect and telekinesis. The Tick possesses superhuman strength and iron vulnerability. Who will win? First off, this wouldn't even be a fight. This would be just one god not yielding to temptation and another guy becoming uncharacteristically frustrated. Professor X would try to mentally bend the tick to his will, but to no avail. Professor X then tries everything else within his abilities, but the tick is still unfazed. After a few minutes, the tick asks, Sir, what are you trying to do? This angers Professor X, and after he calms down, he concludes, Your will is unlike anything I've ever encountered. From my observation of you, you're a mutant. How would you like to come with me to live on the island of Krakoa? The Tick replies, I'm sorry, sir. My duties are to protect the city from crime. Professor X replies, I understand. However, you can commute from Krakoa to the city whenever you please. While in Krakoa, I can help you master your powers to better yourself. The Tick then concludes by simply saying, SPOON! This fight is a no contest. And that concludes this fight on the Comic, Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. All right, thank you, Jeremy Pardue. I hope you all enjoyed that fight, and I'll have another one for next week. Now it's time for Comically Speaking, so without further ado, let's talk comics! All right, there are two things we're going to talk about in this segment of Comically Speaking, and the first one is the news that former Batman writer Tom King reveals that Catwoman is pregnant. Now, um, you know, when when this news dropped, I, you, the first thing I did was I went on ahead and read Batman number 85 again. Now, Batman number 85 is the last issue that Tom King had written. And it was the conclusion to the City of Bane story arc, <coughs> excuse me, in which um, in which Batman takes down um, both Bane and then the um, the Doctor and then the Batman from the um, 
Flashpoint story arc, who happens to be Dr. Thomas Wayne. But, and then, you know, he, he started saying that, you know, he, cho he chose happiness, he chose her, he chooses, but he chooses to be Batman. And, um, but I, I don't know. I mean, and then I've read the, the, um, the, the first three issues of, of the, the current story arc uh, being written by Scott Snyder with, with art by, um, both, um, Tony Daniel and, um, and Gillum March. Um, I, you know what he, well, you know, it's possible. And of course, in the uh, Earth 2 um, DC Universe, Batman and Catwoman have a daughter and they name her Helena. Yeah, her name's Helena. And also, what's so, what's so interesting about all this is that um, in the, in the pre-Flashpoint DC Universe, and, and this may, and she may um, still exist in the in the uh, current uh, story arc. As a matter, uh, you know, it, honestly, I don't read Birds of Prey, so I really don't know. But you know, the Huntress's um, first name is Helena, but her last name is Bertinelli. And um, honestly, I really don't know what to make of it. I think it, you know, it adds some dramatic flair to um, to the book moving forward, and the other Batman books are moving forward. And, moving forward and also Catwoman's book of course she has her own monthly series she's had a monthly series for almost two years and um, I, I think this will be great I mean of course it'll slow down Catwoman but um, I mean after all she and Batman almost, almost did get married but um, that kind of fell through We, um, as we all know alright now the second thing is that news okay first off there's going to be a she-hulk series coming to disney plus and uh right now it's kind of right now they're still a little undecided on who's going to play the lead role you know and my pick would be um mary chifo from star trek discovery but um i i honestly don't know but it's been said that Mark Ruffalo will be involved with the series, and and I, I can you know and, and honestly, I hope he does because it's it's because of Bruce Banner that She Hulk the, the She Hulk is She Hulk because she ended up because he he came to visit, she ends up getting getting shot, you know lost a lot of blood, so uh, Banner ended up giving her some giving her some of his because they were the same blood type although his um, blood is also tainted with gamma radiation and saves her life um, so they're probably going to write that into the into the story arc or at least I hope and also Red Hulk will, will, uh, will, will make his debut in the series as well as a villain to She-Hulk now in the comics, Red Hulk is um, General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, or at least he was. He was the first one. Of course, there was another Red Hulk, uh, um, who was General Robert Robert L. Maverick. Who, but then he he didn't last very long. Um, now, of course, in, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, William Hurt uh, plays General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, and has since the Incredible Hulk movie in 2008. I mean, he was a, a general in the U.S. Army, but then later on, he ended up getting um, promoted to, to Secretary of He ended up retiring from the Army, and he, he was named Secretary of State. So, um, I mean, I, I, I'd love to see this. I mean, there's some, a lot of great stuff coming to Disney+. Plus. I mean, there's a, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and there's WandaVision. And I, I honestly can't wait for this series to come out as well. All right, that's it for Comically Speaking. Now let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. All right, first up, it's Action Comics number 1020. The Amazing Spider-Man number 40.
Avengers number 31. Black Panther number 21. Detective Comics number 1020. Far Sector number 4. Justice League Dark number 20. New Mutants number 8. Shazam number 11. Wonder Woman number 752 X-Force number 8 X-Men number 7 And finally X-Men Fantastic Four, number two. All right, that's 13, which brings the total number of comics not bought since December of 1997 to 9,902. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the 300th episode of the Comic Hero Show, and here's a question for next week's episode of the show. What superhero name did Marvel temporarily give Black Panther in 1972 to avoid any controversial association with the Black Panther Party? Everyone who answers correctly been in the drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to Patricia Walker from Homer, Louisiana and won a free tea on this week's episode. Now, before I draw the five names of, of um, the 300 episode comic hero teas, um, you, know, it's, it's, you know, it's customary that when a birthday is celebrated, now this now, now these are the present now me doing a drawing, that's kind of the equivalent of opening presents. And um, you know, and, and again, it's customary that before the presents are open, uh, before a birthday party, the birthday boy or girl blows out the candles and makes a wish. And I went the entire episode without having uh, the candles on here lit, but I'm gonna go ahead, but I went on it. Excuse me, I went on ahead and, and lit them, so I can go ahead and blow them out and make a wish. So here we go. All right, now the moment y'all been waiting for. The drawing for the five Comic Hero Tees. All right, drawing number one. Here we go. And the winner of the first winner of a of a comic hero tee goes to Melinda Bird from West Monroe, Louisiana. So congratulations, Melinda. You win yourself a free comic hero tee. All right. One down, four to go. Drawing number two. And the win the second winner of a 300 episode comic hero tee goes to Kathleen Gilly from Shreveport, Louisiana. So congratulations, Kathleen. You win yourself a free comic hero tee. All right, three down and, I mean, two down and three to go. All right, here we go with drawing number three. And the third person that wins the a, a 300th episode comic hero tee goes to Jesse Salinas from Brownsville, Texas. So congratulations, Jesse. You win yourself a free comic hero tee. All right, three down and two to go. And drawing number four. The fourth person to win a, a 300th episode comic hero tee goes to. There, by, oh, by the way, 53 names. Sierra Brown from Shreveport, Louisiana. So congratulations, Sierra. You win yourself a free comic hero tee. Or a 300th episode comic hero tee, rather. 
All right, last one. Drawing number five, and the fifth and final person to win a, a 300th episode Comic Hero T is... I'm trying to draw big on this one, because <laughs> it's the last one. D'Angelo Balloon from Warren, Ohio. So congratulations, D'Angelo. You win yourself a free Comic Hero T. <sighs> All right, now, if y'all didn't, now, for y'all that didn't get your names drawn, uh, don't feel bad about it. You know, just just feel just be proud of it. Be proud that you are a part of a milestone episode. I mean, 300 episodes. Um, like like I said, you know, and I'm I'm accomplished, yet I'm humbled at the same time. And there is a such thing as, as feeling accomplished and humble. You know, just because I mean, a lot of times. You know, when, when folks accomplish something, they kind of beat their chest about it. That's not really the way to go about it, because you know, you, to me, you're just showing off your behind. But if you, but if you have some humil humility, then, I mean, if you just, you know, eat as, or as a lot of folks have, you, or a lot of folks say, you just eat that humble pie. That's all. That's it right there. That's it. And you know what? I'm I'm just you know very proud of the of the fact that I've gotten this far, and I'm very proud of the fact that I have fans like y'all. And you know what? I and of course I'm just gonna keep on going until I'm physically unable to. And that's my aim. All right, now we, with the. Now, with the count being 9,902, that can only mean one thing. The road to 10,000 to 10, comics has begun. Now, um, the way I buy comics, um, I, use, I average around buying 10 of them. So, chances are I probably won't get to 10,000 until... It, it, it's definitely not going to be this month. It probably won't be until the end of next month or sometime in May. But, um, um, it's coming. And, um, oh, also, I'm going to make a uh, 10,000 comics comic hero tee when I get close to the milestone. And for those of y'all who didn't win a shirt, y'all are in luck because I'm going to do the same thing uh, with that shirt that I did with this one. All right, um, Wow, 300 episodes. Let's let's shoot for 300 more, or even or even more than that. All right, I'm Victor Nunley on the Comic Hero. I'll see you next week for episode 301. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero.